Yeah, absolutely. And you talk about that team. And the one thing I've always found interesting about that team is, yeah, they had a few superstars like Zonka and Greasy, Paul, Paul Warfield, who they traded, I think, the third pick in the draft to get. They had a couple. But you look at that roster, and I just wrote down a couple notes. That was a roster of guys that, you know, were kind of a who's who, who other teams kind of threw away, who sort of gave up on. Larry Little was a trade away by the Chargers. Um, Howard Twilly was a pick in the 14th round. Jim Langer went undrafted. Manny Fernandez went undrafted. Wayne Moore went undrafted. Marv Fleming was picked in the 11th round. Norm Evans and Marlon Briscoe were 14th round picks by other teams. Um, Vern, Vern Herger there was a pick in nine, uh, was a pick in round nine. Jake Scott round seven. Jim Kick round five. This was not a team of a bunch of superstars that did this. This was really a bunch of guys that came together who really didn't have big NFL resumes. So we're talk about the roster and how that team was constructed. Absolutely. Uh, everything you say is correct. And, you know, on the offense, you have the offensive line, which is one of the great all-time offensive lines, as it yes. turned out. They called themselves the expendables because they had been deemed expendable by other teams. You know, you mentioned Larry Little and Norm Evans. And Bob Kuchenberg, you know, he, he was playing semi-pro ball. Uh, two years before, he was playing semi-pro ball in Chicago for like $100 a game. And uh, he got a tryout in Miami, came down, and he was a scrub for a couple of years. And then in 72, he, he became a regular. And, you know, he was a great, great offensive guard. Larry Little, the greatest offensive lineman of the 1970s, he was picked. And he, as you say, in, in uh, San Diego, he was nothing much at all. But uh, uh, I asked him what changed. He said, Don Shula – got me to lose weight. And he did that with a number of players. He came in, he'd tell them you're losing 20 pounds or 30 pounds and it made him better players. That's one thing, you know, there's a lot more to it. Of course, on the defense, of course, they had the no name defense that says it all. I mean, aside from Bonacati, who had been an all pro in the AFL for the Patriots, um, they were, they were largely unknown. Uh, and you know, you had Doug Swift who played for Amherst college, division three college. He gets a tryout in Miami largely because of the players' strike, and he, he got to come down and he impressed Shula, and he was a starting linebacker for his whole career here, you know? Um, Mike Cullen was a rookie in 1970 also, and he was a starter for, for his five years. Um, you know, Vern Denherter was going to go to veterinary school. He didn't even think he'd make it, but he said, well, I got drafted, you know, so I'm going to go down and give it a shot. He ends up being a great player for 10 years for the Dolphins. Manny Fernandez wasn't drafted. What a great player. In Super Bowl seven, he had the greatest, greatest, yeah. greatest Super Bowl any defensive lineman ever had, you know. So they were made up of all these guys who really came together. I think Shula was a big part of it. He really motivated them, but they all really came together as a team and made themselves better.